I'm Darren Brown. This is Mind Control, where I use a variety of persuasive techniques to influence and manipulate people's minds. There are no actors or stooges used in this show. <sighs> Some of the things you'll see in this show may make you think that I'm psychic. I'm not. In tonight's Mind Control, I see if I can use subliminal persuasion to affect this guy's dreams. I test people's powers of observation. This is the dog you're looking for. I see if I can cash in on a losing ticket at the dog track. It was horrible, actually. It was like, oh my God, what have I done? And I face off with a kung fu master. <laughs> Most of us think we're pretty observant, but with a bit of mind control, I wanted to see if I could make these people take even the most obvious things for granted. Excuse me. Yeah. Do you know how to get to Trinity Church from here? Yeah. You see that church down there? Yep, straight through there. And then you keep going down. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Which way? You see where that church is down there? Yeah. You stay on that, which is, I believe, Broadway. And then you walk down two or three blocks and Trinity Church is on the right hand side. We're walking in that direction. Okay. Excuse me, you don't know where Trinity Church is, do you? Might be Wall Street and Broadway. Okay. Well, we're, we're down here somewhere, aren't we? Yeah, you see Trinity Church. Oops, sorry. 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 Uh, yeah. Inside the Trinity Church, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you keep going that way, then you left Broadway, then you go down a couple of blocks. Yeah. And, uh, Thanks very much. That seemed almost too easy, so later on, I see how far I can take it. I went to a greyhound track where hundreds of men who all look like my dad go to watch some thin dogs running around. I should point out that I don't do a lot of what you're about to see anymore. I used to, but it's not entirely fair. So number six has not won. No, it hasn't won. So you shouldn't get anything on this at all? No, it's worthless. This is worthless. Absolutely worthless. All right, give me one minute, I'll be straight back. Where's he going? Surely he can't draw money. Don't believe it. I don't. I can't. I don't believe it. Right. As much as that. Do you want to know how it's done? Yeah, tell me. That's just the start. That's only two quid. That's just the start. I'll show you how it worked. Just follow me. Just follow me, okay. right? Put your hand on your head. Put your hand on your chest. Uh, put your hand on your wrist. Excellent. Now, that's your elbow, not your wrist, all right? <laughs> but the point is, you follow what I say, you take my lead, all right? OK. It's, a, it's just a control game, all right? Okay. That's all I'm doing here, just at a much more advanced level, all right? Yeah. Now, here's what I want you to do. We'll do a couple more races. Yeah. Each time, you bet on the dog you're sure is going to lose. OK, no problem. All right? But as much as you like. Have you got a... Do you know which one's going to lose the next one? You got any ideas? OK, yes. Yeah. All right. I'm looking at this. I haven't Track, two will lose. Clue. Track number two will lose. Yeah. How much are you going to put in it? Trust me on it, all right? Ten pounds. Go on. Ten quid? Yeah. Fantastic. Ten quid on number two. Right. To win, all right? To win. Let's go and collect our losings. You look her right in the eye. Yes. You've just got to trust me and don't be nervous about it. This will work. It will work because you'll believe that it will work. OK. You look her right in the eye. Yeah. You hand her the ticket and you say, this is the winning ticket, and you just believe that from the bottom of your soul. This is the winning ticket. This one's not winner. Not winner? This is the dog you're looking for. Try again, you may have misread it. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, you have one, sorry. Fantastic. Good grace. Yeah. 
Can you come? Can you come for the next meeting? Yeah. 20, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 100, 90. Thank Sorry. you very much, Mr. Keith. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I would describe myself as driven, and when I say driven, I literally mean that I have a chauffeur. Were I to ever buy my own car, even just to sit in and play with the steering wheel, I should absolutely choose to buy it from these guys. Hi, guys. So, tell me your names. Uh, Michael. Michael, good to meet you. Pleasure. Ruben. Ruben. Darren, nice to meet you. Diego. Diego, very good to meet you. Thanks, uh, thanks for doing this. Thanks for taking some time out. So, listen, in England, um, Car salesmen, particularly second-hand car salesmen, have a kind of a reputation of being uh, bending the truth a little bit. Is it the same here? All right, some people, obviously not, right. not you guys, but certain certain people, certain other yeah. other companies in this area. Um, so, Diego, yeah? yeah. If we took this car here, for example, I'm going to have you tell me four facts about it, but one of them I want to be a lie. Okay. Now, as it turns out, I don't. I don't drive. I don't know much about cars. But um, the lie needs to be something that's uh, that I wouldn't just know. Or that you know, if you said it was blue, that's obviously a lie. Yeah, so try okay. try and make a lie one that would be very difficult for anybody to, to know. All right. Okay. Tell me fact number one about this car. Fact number one about this car is that it comes fully equipped. Fact number two, please. Fact number two is that this is one of the sports editions. Fantastic. Thank you. Fact number three. Fact number three, pretty much that it's an eight-cylinder. Fantastic. And fact number four? Fact number four, pretty much everything, all the types of controls you can maneuver it from the, from the steering wheel. Don't, don't react. I was going to say it was three or four. Uh, three or four were the only two. You sort of, you were making very kind of open gestures on three or four. Three was the only one you were kind of nodding your head with a lot as well, which normally is a sign of overproving. you're telling the truth. I thought it was going to be four as well because you were making the same gesture, but you were too relaxed talking about things. Yeah. So I'm going to say number three was the lie, am I right? Yeah? You hit it right there. Oh, OK, cool. Yeah. Good, good start. <laughs> Ruben, let's go with the red car behind you here. Do you know you know what the car is? You're, you're familiar enough with it? Yeah. So, go. Number one. It's automatic. OK, it's automatic. OK, that's right. We can keep each one simple. That's great. Uh, it's a six-cylinder. OK, thank you. Fact number three. It has leather. Do you know what I'm going to say? It's fact number two, because you came straight in before I said number two. Yeah? Is it number two? Right. It's not six-cylinder? Right, thank you very much. All right, uh, in you come, Mike. Let's do the last one. Um, uh, can we go with this car there? You know a bit about that one? I know everything about that car. You know everything about that yes, car? Yes, sir. Okay. Same thing, four facts about the car, but okay. I only want you to think each thing in your head. Okay. But still say them clearly as if you were saying them out loud. All right. Fact number one. Okay. Thank you. Fact number two. Okay. Fact number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. And fact, no, it's the first one, isn't it? Yeah. It was, was that right? It was. The it first was. one was the lie. Yes, it was. And it was something to do with the engine. Correct. Yeah. It's something to do with the engine. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what that was. No, uh, right. Although yeah. they were, you were saying stuff about number, you kind of thinking numbers in your head. So I guess it's to do with numbers and types That's of right. cylinders or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. What was it? What were you thinking? I was thinking of myself as a 4.2. In actuality, it's a 3.1. Thank you very much, Mike. That's fantastic. Excellent. I thought I was pretty stone-faced. You know, I gave no indication that I lied about the first thing in my head. And, he, and before I even got to the fourth one, he pulled it out. I think he, he has a gift. Mm -hmm.